not what we believe in. And that's not what the United States title believes in. And Rebel, whenever I get that title around my waist, you're first in line, buddy. Hey, Brad, I'm going to tell you, one before you go, you've got a real contest on television here this week. The championship committee has decided you're the number one contender, and somebody has really been pushing to get you in the ring, not the other way around, and uh, the spoiler on television this week. What do you think about that? Well, like I said last week, Mr. Brody, I've been watching tape. I've been training hard. Spoiler, he's not orthodox. He doesn't have a real orthodox style. But you know what? I'm going to adapt and I'm going to overcome here in the ring. See you there, buddy. Hey, we're going to the ring for a big matchup. Brad Thomas against the spoiler. <laughs> Well, J.D., uh, Brad Thomas said a mouthful, didn't he? That's he cute. did, absolutely. He's one fired-up young man, and you know what? He is the number one contender to that United States title, and he's going in the ring against a real veteran. This is going to be no walk in the park for either man, the spoiler. He Brad Thomas. hands full with the spoiler, doesn't he, Jeff? The spoiler is a real ring veteran. He has been a winner everywhere he's ever been in this business. There is a well, well-respected lineage in this business. Um, the gentleman that's in the ring right now, is not the original spoiler that was in this business. One Don Jardine unfortunately passed away about a year and a half ago, but this spoiler has carried on that He's tradition. Been at it for a while. He has definitely been at it a while. He has carried on the tradition of the name of the spoiler. Uh, he has lived up to the ideals that the original put forth out there for the people, and uh, he's in the ring with the number one contender here on television this week. Right here, Joe. Now, collar and elbow lock up. Brad Thomas surprised me a little. Uh, with a lower base of gravity, he was able to push the larger man back into the corner. Uh, that's an example right there of leverage being more important than power. Now, Spoiler complaining a little bit here about uh, the closed fist, but I didn't see that from Brad Thomas. Did you, Jason? Well, I think it's a tactic on the spoiler's part. You know, he, he's always cold and calculating, Jeff. Well, there's no doubt that he's going to try and throw Brad Thomas off of his game because in order to get a win, he's going to have to do that. Brad Thomas is always on top of his game. He is one of the most highly touted rookies in this business at this point, and I can't really even call him a rookie based on the amount of experience that he's got now. But uh, has nowhere near the amount of ring time and years of experience that the Spoiler has. And uh, as you can see, the Spoiler begrudgingly giving Brad Thomas the respect that uh, Thomas has earned in this business. Now that's collar and elbow lock up into that arm ringer. Look at that, Joe. He switched it into an arm bar. Now, he, if you notice, he's using leverage again. He's taking the spoiler down on that one knee. That allows Thomas, who is the shorter, smaller of the two men, to put that downward pressure on the arm and the shoulder of the spoiler. Now, he needs to take the spoiler back down and see if he can't keep him down. Now, he switches into that hammer lock into a side headlock. Cranking it on, Joe. Cranking it on. Well, that side headlock's just the most basic wrestling move in the world, but the reason it is is because it's effective. It's been effective. Look at this. Look at hey, this. Look minute. at this, Joe. Hey, we've got Scotty McKeever out here in the and Big Mac coming to keep an eye on the uh, champions out here. On he's television. out here to keep his eye on Brad Thomas, maybe shake him up a little bit. Well, you know what? This really makes me think that could the spoiler possibly be working for Scotty McKeever to try and injure or even just scout Brad Thomas for Scotty McKeever? I, I don't know if the spoiler and Scotty McKeever have a, a history together, but I do know the spoiler is one of this sport's mercenaries. You know, I come out here to watch this Brad Thomas and everybody spoke about him. Hey. I'm gonna root my buddy to stay along. Okay. Hey, we're getting we're getting words here over at the uh, broadcast from our champion, Joe. Champion. He's our champion. He says he's out here to cheer on the spoiler, and that's it. But uh, well, you know, I tell you that could be it. But he could be scouting Brad Thomas, or I really think. Knowing Scotty McKeever the way that I do and the reputation of the spoiler, I really think that, that there's a little bit more going on here because the spoiler campaigned for this match. He actually asked and requested repeatedly to get a match with Brad Thomas on television. Look at this, Joe. Look at that kip up. Look at that. And reverse it right into the top wrist lock right behind his head there, Joe. That's the top wrist lock. You know, Scotty and I, we actually, uh, backstage, we, we were able to share an energy drink uh, between the two of us and and we were talking about it. Why are you so hard on Scotty? He's our champion. Hey, I said, Brad, look at that. Look at that. He just tripped Brad Thomas. Scotty McKeever just tripped Brad Thomas. And now a spoiler all over him like a cheap suit. He drops that elbow on the lower abdominal region and midsection of Brad Thomas. Thomas had this match going all his way. These people saw it. The people at home saw it. And I saw it. The spoiler do a little dance.
I guess that's his version of a strut. He thinks he's got the number one contender out here. Look at that oh. slap suplex right over the middle of the ring. A cover. Uh, McKeever on the outside making the count there. I think Thomas. Uh, look at this. Thomas firing back. He's firing back. As long as McKeever keeps his distance, I'm going to tell you, folks, I saw him reach in a trip, Brad Thomas. I know you folks at home saw it. And. You know what? If this is, turns into a two-on-one situation, I don't think Brad Thomas has a chance against these two. I don't think Scotty McKeever would break a rule, you know. Look at that. Belly to back suplex to get out of that headlock. Brad Thomas has been taken out of his game plan. It's been affected. The spoiler and Scotty McKeever has taken him out of his game plan. There it is, Joe, that diving headbutt. You know what? That's, that's been his finished maneuver. And he's driving it right into the rib cage, into the pectoralis major muscles, and, in the and into the sternum. And uh, Thomas suffering the effects of that. There's been a lot of speculation over the years that the spoiler loads that bite, that there's something in there besides flesh and bone, because he is so very, very affected with that headbutt. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at McKeever, look. McKeever with an open headed slap. Now that's not going to really affect Thomas' performance in the ring, but that's going to distract him, that's going to make him mad, that's going to throw him off his game plan even more. He had a fly on his face, Joe. I think you've been sharing more than an energy drink with Scotty McKeever, Jason Schaefer. I'll tell you that right now.